Tampa Bay Comic Con Day 3. I am hyped. Day 3. Let the fun begin. Hey guys, so I'm finally up. I am scanning the commission right now. Here's the commission, by the way. This is the Frieza. That's how it came out. Get all the line work going. Da, 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 da. Came out pretty pretty cool, I gotta say. But I'm um, scanning it to my SD card right now so I can have it to sell uh, prints of for, for the future. I would scan it to my tablet, but like I said er, last night, it doesn't want to connect to my tablet, so at least I can save it to the um, SD card and have it forever and ever. So that's a plus. This is me being a grown-up, guys. Purchased this from the local, uh, what's it called, Fresco? So I'm just making peanut butter jelly sandwiches for the con. And then I got some bananas and other snacks I can eat so I don't go starving. Not the healthiest thing, but yeah, what are you gonna do? So I'm all packed to leave the Airbnb. There's all the stuff. Uh, it's been real Airbnb. It was fun. The bed was really soft and cozy. And uh, this is like the first step uh, to the end of the journey here. It's been it's been fun. I feel like I've grown a lot here. It's not over yet. Still uh, got the whole con to do. <clears throat> this one starts at nine, ends at four, so it ends early. Yesterday, last night, ended at seven. So hopefully, I can still get some sales in between that little time slot. So. Fingers crossed, but I'll check in with you guys later and update you on how it's going. All right, day three, Tampa Bay Comic Con. Right now, I am trimming my five by sevens. I had to print them on eight and a half by 11 because for whatever reason, <laughs> it would print like this. But uh, it wouldn't print actual five by sevens. It wouldn't print actual eight, eight and a half by 11s, but it would print five by sevens on eight and a half by 11s. So I'm just trimming them down right now. I use this to trim, so I have like 10 pages of prints to trim and uh, then I can put them in the book. Hey guy, just a little update, so waiting on the guy to pick up his commission. I've been selling things slowly here and there, not, not, not as busy as yesterday or Friday, but it might pick up, so I got a lot of time in the day left. And other than that, um, just chilling. So there's a lot of foot traffic. I mean, it's definitely not empty in here. A lot of a lot of people, but it's just like zooming past in my booth. Like they'll, they'll, they'll eye it real quick, but keep walking. So that's interesting. But a lot of their hands are already full. People are definitely buying. Uh, only a few are stopping by my table though. So that sucks. I don't. know, Maybe I gotta be more outgoing. I do feel like I have less energy today. I'm not being as vocal. So that may have something to do with it. Alright, about 30 minutes left of the con. It is looking, it's starting to look like a ghost town in here. Uh, I made more than I did Friday, less than I did Saturday. I, I didn't tally up the total. I think it's around 180, 190. So that would put me at, I don't know, 650, $700 for the whole weekend. So I'll add it up and update you guys later. But that, that's by far my best con, which is good. That means I'm getting better at this stuff. But this is also my most expensive con with the table, Airbnb, gas, food. Um, I spent a lot of money, so I'm gonna have to add all that up too and see how much I actually made, which is, when you do the adding, subtracting, it's not that much, so that's unfortunate. Hey guys, so on the road now, back to Miami. In a pretty good mood right now. The guy I did a commission for, I ended up meeting up uh, as I was on my way to the car. I was all packed up, uh, bringing, bringing stuff to the car, and uh, I guess he said he got tied up with work. But uh, we ended up meeting up, and I gave him the work, and we were talking a bit, and uh, he was happy with it, and uh, he owed me 27. He paid, it was so the commission was 55 for being Frieza. He paid me 28. I had him pay me half, so 28 when uh, he first commissioned me. And then he was supposed to pay me 27 when I gave him the work, and instead of giving me $27, he gave me 
fifty. So he gave me like, uh, like twenty extra bucks or something like that. So that just made me feel real good. That, that was my first commission. And, uh, it's pretty crazy. Like if you think about it, like someone someone saw my work and paid me to draw them something. stuff like that for friends and like for logos and I've done commissions digitally for friends but to, to do it for a stranger who doesn't who doesn't know me and who could have commissioned anyone at that con anybody anybody commissioned me for whatever reason uh, that's awesome it gave me extra money and uh, that's, that's a cool feeling I didn't have I, I, I didn't even have a sign for commissions which I need to make one I've just been scared to advertise it, I guess. But I need to start doing that because the extra money is really helpful. But from what I'm told, which I can definitely see why it's true, a con can be going bad, like you're not making a lot of sales, like you're not selling a lot of prints. But if someone commissions you, that can save your con, because that's like, like I'm selling, I'm selling uh, the prints for like five dollars, three dollars. My frame pieces are fifteen dollars, but a commission, boom, fifty-five dollars right there for like inks worked. Probably gonna boost it to sixty, and um, that's really helpful, <laughs> money-wise. It's a big chunk of change. I just need to get faster. I need to get better. It just takes me a while to draw because I don't know what everything looks like anatomy, especially if I do it in a cool angle uh, to turn the head or to turn the body. Things start getting harder and harder to draw when it's not just like straightforward. Uh, but I want to draw things at weird angles or. Because it's more interesting, not weird angles, but more dynamic angles. It's just more interesting that way. So uh, I still haven't tallied up everything I made today. I know I made more than, I, especially since I got the commission money, uh, it definitely boosted up. I made more than Friday. I might have made more than yesterday if, I, if I'm including that commission, or it's just about there. Which yesterday I made 260, I think. Just guesstimating, but I made around seven hundred dollars for the weekend, which is phenomenal. It's definitely my best con experience to date, by far. Um, Super con I made four hundred. I love it over four hundred, which was my best before that. So that's great. I'm definitely gonna come back to Tampa Bay Comic Con for sure. It's so funny. I was I was just thinking how I was feeling kind of down because it was slower today. I made more money today. Than I made at most days at a con. Um, I think pretty much any other day at any other con, I've made more money uh, today. And I was feeling down just because probably I, I think yesterday I was so busy be, between working on the commission and then um, stopping the work to sell stuff. So I felt like really busy and like kind of like uh, I don't know preoccupied the whole time. And today I wasn't working on the commission, so there was a lot of downtime. So it just felt slower. But I, I did sell a good bit. I, how much did I make? I, I must uh, not including the commission. I think, uh, man, I gotta, I gotta tally up the numbers. But maybe 180, 180. Friday I made 160 something, and Saturday I made 260. So yeah, it was a great day sales wise. So I don't know what I was getting all down about. It's all about perspective. I, I, I was like. How quickly we forget, how ungrateful we get. Uh, yeah, that was stupid of me to get down like that. Yeah, that was a great day. Gotta stay positive um, and keep things in perspective. It's just, yeah, 700 is a lot of money, but the table was 250. Gas, uh, I, had a, I had a full tank uh, here and there. Uh, I about used a full tank coming up here, but I just filled up again. I'd say that's like 70 bucks. So 250 is 70. The Airbnb was like 90. Bought food. And um, yeah, I, I definitely, I, I made my table back for sure. I paid Airbnb, Airbnb off. And uh, I, made, I, made some, I made some cash. But when you think about the travel, which is three and a half hours to, to get here, you know, three and a half hours back, uh, just setting up and everything. And it's a lot of work. So is the money I made worth it this time around? I'm thinking yes. But other cons, uh, most, con, most cons I've done, I've lost money. I 
Supercon, I barely broke even, and then I do local events. We join cons, but it's like just art art events like Winwood or um, Full Auto Art Walk, stuff like that. Um, sometimes I don't even make my uh, table back from that, which, which is only like eighty dollars. Sometimes I don't even make that back because it's just the audience isn't there. People don't show up. People aren't wanting to buy my stuff. So it's been a long, hard road. So I'm glad finally I won one. It's been really depressing and defeating. Every con's just been punching me in the gut. Oh god, this one worked out. I was told that South Florida, I'm going to North Florida. North Florida is way better. People are, appreciate the art more and they want to spend money on the art. Or South Florida, um, there's a lot more kids there. Even though there's a lot of kids here too, so it's not just the kids, it's just people who aren't into the art as much down there. They, they, I guess they'd like to buy more like figures, I guess. I don't know, it's more of an anime scene, more of an anime crowd. I was selling a lot of anime here, but also selling, I was selling superhero stuff too. But uh, I'm probably going to sign off here. This will be the last time you're hearing me for this vlog. Uh, I know I didn't tally up exact numbers, but a little over 700 I made, I feel like. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, but yeah, thanks. If you made it this far, guys, I am impressed. If you made it this far in the video, leave a comment. Tell me you made it this far. Because I, I don't think I can even watch this. Like, I, don't, I don't know how entertaining this is at all. Uh, but it'll be cool for me to look back at it in the future. Maybe when I make it big time, just to come back to this when I was gaining experience and the little baby, the art scene. So. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Uh, thanks for. I was just supporting my heart, supporting the journey, supporting me trying to be an entrepreneur, supporting me trying to grow, supporting me trying to make something out of myself. Um, thank you for the positive vibes. And, uh, yeah. Let me know if you watch this. Keep in touch, guys. Communication, networking is key. I want to be involved with you guys. Just uh, keep the positivity going. And, yeah. All right. Enough rambling. Thanks for watching. And until next time, guys. Phenom out.